Happy New Year. Oh my god. Um, my daughter brought in some sort of virus, which she has lovingly shared with me, and I've been sick for, I don't know, Christmas I wasn't feeling that great. Um, actually, I've been sick on and off with random stuff for about two weeks now. Um, in the last clip, from the last video, where I'm at work, I was actually, like, I spent that whole day thinking, like, X hours, X minutes, and then I'm on days off. Um, it's during that time I had some, like, weird stomach issues. I was always uncomfortable, crampy, bloated. Nothing was working properly, and, um, it was terrible. And I'm still not sure if I'm over that. I think I am, but... Uh, I made an a, doctor, a doctor's appointment <clears throat> before New Year's, so I'm going in on Tuesday, but, like, of course, once you finally get an appointment, things start clearing up, and I can't cancel the appointment now because the clinic's going to be closed tomorrow, um, since New Year's falls on a Sunday, um, Monday is off, is a stat holiday, and, uh, so yeah, that'll be fun, I'll, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll still talk and try to figure, like, what happened. But, yeah, so I'm feeling better from that. And then I caught my sinuses were starting to, like, feel really raw. And my throat was a little scratchy. And my poor daughter, she's had it terribly. Last night she woke up crying. Or she woke up, she coughed. She started crying because it hurt to cough. And then she started crying because it hurt to cry. And her poor little voice was so scratchy. She was trying to tell me it hurt. And it was just coming out like super gravelly. <clears throat> so I like threw her in the bathroom. And made her sit on the floor while I had like the steaming shower going for a bit. And then I got the um, humidifier set up. And that really helped her sleep. And it helped me sleep too. Since I was staying with her all night. So that was how I spent my New Year's Eve. Um... <coughs> Um, otherwise, I decided to do the, um, Blogilates 30 day ab challenge, so I recorded day one of that, I figured it's pretty simple, it's only five, um, repetitions of three little things, that's nothing too straining, so it's something you can easily do while stick, sick, start while sick, uh, it's January 1st, try to do something every day for this month. And I really hope I, I like, remember to do it every day. Um, I'm going to have to, like, make reminders on my phone to be like, hey, check what you're supposed to be doing today and get that done. Otherwise, I've just been really, like, wanting to nap and not do anything and not leave the house and um, <clears throat> just try to get better and also take care of my daughter because um, she's been really sick. And my husband has, like, a ridiculous immune system. He never gets sick. It's like an iron wall. But the thing is, because he never gets sick, if something gets through, then he's down for the count. And he's, like, unconscious for the next 48 hours. All I do is, like, I leave, little, I leave bottles of Gatorade beside his bed. And he drinks those. <laughs> and then, then he's up and better <coughs> again. Um, I'm not so lucky. So, um, yeah, happy new years. There's, I don't do resolutions because resolutions, you just, you just break, you make lofty goals and you hope that you, uh, keep them and then you feel like crap when <clears throat> you turn around and realize, oh my God, I didn't do my resolution, any of it for like the past week. I've either been like a judgmental jerk or I've overeaten every day or I didn't run three miles a day like I said I would or something like you pick ridiculous things that aren't always like plausible so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm do what I've been doing since I've decided to like be healthy and I'm just going to keep trying to be healthy and make like everyday decisions <laughs> instead of like one grand it's New Year's Day, New Year, New Me type thing. So yeah, um, my only, I guess that's my resolution is try to get through that Blogilates thing, um, which I can't remember what I said, but I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, I was talking with Marsha today and she should be coming back from, um, 
Nova Scotia on uh, Friday and she's been sick there too. Her and her mom have just been like ping-ponging various illnesses. One of them gets it, passes it to the next. Someone gets something new, passes it to the other one. Um, and that's, that's the joy of holidays where everybody is like packed inside a little house and we all live in Canada. So, um, <clears throat> the weather is kind of nice where she is. It's not very snowy, but here it's snowy. You're kind of stuck inside when it's like super cold. So, uh, viruses kick around easy. Even between my friends, all my friends here are sick too. So, uh, I hope everybody's having a happy and healthy <laughs> New Year's. I hope you uh, rung it in responsibly, and I will see you in the next clip. Bye. I'm feeling a bit better than I did yesterday. I think I'm actually getting be getting over this. Um, so yeah, I did day two of the flat abs challenge. Even though I don't expect to come out flat abs, but I will get stronger ones. Um, and I also did a headstand because I want to do a unsupported headstand this year. Um, <clears throat> and I realized that if I'm gonna do that, I gotta actually start, you know, working on my balance more every day. And yeah. So yeah, as often as I can, I'll do a nice little inverse and practice pushing away from the wall further and further. And uh, yeah, it'd be cool to get into a few like those cool crazy poses like the stag pose, which is the one where it's a headstand, but your legs are like spread apart kind of like antlers um if you imagine it that way so yeah <clears throat> i uh did that there's nothing really else to say <laughs> i hope marcia's feeling better she is on her last full day out in um nova scotia and then she travels tomorrow so um sick and traveling with a ton of bags and a five-year-old because her little guy just had his birthday and my little girl has her birthday in two weeks so yes um traveling with a five-year-old being sick and having a dozen bags and going over like four provinces <clears throat> is is rough enough um so i hope she starts feeling better i just finished at the hospital <clears throat> i had my appointment today and uh the doctor wants some blood work. He uh, said, all my symptoms could either be IBS or he wanted to test me for celiac. So uh, that's fun. Uh, so I just had my blood work done. It's really, really cold out. Hence the three hoods. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll find out later what's going on. Bye.